Jeffrey Smart's The Conversation Piece, um, it's a joy to talk about this painting. I, I have to say that having been exposed to Jeffrey's, Jeffrey Smart's paintings over a long period now, and in that period I've come to appreciate them more and more, it's a real treat to be able to look at this painting very carefully and to understand it and to just see how cleverly it's been put together. It was painted in 1998. Smart at that time was in his late 60s and he was getting ready for probably the most important event of his professional life, which was the major survey exhibition which was organised by the Art Gallery of New South Wales and which toured Australia to huge uh, following and wonderful uh, attendances, uh, record-breaking attendances. So this painting, I see it almost as a summary of Smart's uh, life until now. Perhaps that's an ambitious statement, but the size of this painting, it is a large painting, probably the biggest painting by Jeffrey Smart that I've seen, uh, would indicate that he thought so too. He had this notion of it as being of significance. The painting incorporates a group of people, figures, standing to the lower left. And then there's this enormous truck. And in the background you see the usual smart buildings, other trucks, lowering sky. But the figures on the left are the focus of the painting. And so it's this typical thing with Jeffrey Smart where you get great expanses of emptiness and the real action happens in one little corner. And it's this kind of balance that Jeffrey Smart particularly enjoys exploiting or working at in his paintings. The title of the painting it refers to a type of painting that was very popular in England in the 18th century, but whose history goes back to the Renaissance. Uh, in particular, you can think of the famous painting by Piero della Francesca called The Flagellation of Christ. And this was painted and exhibited and is on display in Italy now, not far from where Smart used to live. And it's one of those paintings which you know that Geoffrey Smart would have used as a touchstone for his entire career. A complete contrast to Smart's figures, but Smart's reference is the pertinent point, and it's clear that Smart is also sees his figures in an ironical sense as being similarly kind of engaged in some deep discussion. Uh, it's well known that Smart might get an idea while driving his car. Uh, he might be glimpsing out the side window and see something, and oh, stop the car! We must go back, and he would then stand on the side of the road with his camera, a sketchbook, and start drawing ideas for an upcoming painting. And these moments for Smart were terribly important. That's what the basis of a lot of his best work was. This, this spontaneity and at the same time this depth of knowledge. In this case we are blessed. We have, uh, the painting is illustrated in a catalogue which was produced by the Australian Galleries when it was exhibited. And you can see the drawing several sketches, a watercolour, a pastel, two or three oil sketches. So the whole process by which this painting was produced is clearly documented. And you know that the painting which we're looking at today was the result of a very um, diligent and painstaking process of painting, which is what we expect with Jeffrey Smart. Mm -hmm.